growing. Okay. All right. Uh, today we will be simulating two compressors. As if you can zoom in here, Tim. We have two compressors that will be working. Three phase compressors will be working together in combination with a, uh, with a condenser fan. So when the two compressors run, the condenser fan will kick in and run with them. Um, and we will also have a supply fan that will supply air to the area, will also kick in when the system is, is, uh, is, uh, is running. Um, we also have a couple of switches that I'm gonna pinpoint here, safety switches, uh, control switch for the fan, and we do have a thermostat that will be controlling the condenser fan and, uh, and, and uh, a, sil a couple of solenoids that will give you two-stage thermostat uh, control for the uh, cooling system. So what we will be doing now, as I said, we have the, the simulation of the two motors. There's one motor over here. We have our uh, uh, supply fan here, our first condenser here. And if I can move slightly over here, we're going to have our uh, second condenser here and our uh, condenser fan in this area. We also have uh, lights. To, these lights will be simulating actually solenoids because we don't have solenoids. So we'll be simulating the solenoids with lights and we do have indicating lights to indicate that the compressors are running, uh, the condenser fan as well as the supply fan are running with these red, uh, yellow and green. So we'll go ahead and start the system. Um, all the power is on. So all we're going to do is we'll power the control. We have a, we have a control circuit, a separate control circuit. So when we run the control circuit, <coughs> The control circuit will, uh, will run the two compressors and also the fan and uh, the valves in the other area will be up and running. I can control the fan separately. Uh, we also have a couple of uh, pressure switches that will be killing if we have for safety. We have a pressure switch so if the compressor reaches a certain high or low, volt, uh, high or low voltage, uh, high or low pressure it will kill the compressor. I believe that the other compressor is killed the other side. I can tell. There you go. So that will kill the first compressor. The second compressor, which should be this one, right, DJ? Next one over. Next one, okay. The next one will be my second compressor. So if I am to reach a high pressure value, I will be killing and then energizing this compressor right in here. And that compressor will stop until that the pressure goes down. So that's, that will simulate safety built in the system because of high pressure uh, generated by the compressor. So that's basically what our job for today. We use this job we sim to simulate the job. We have three, we have four three phase uh, motors powered separately, you can see them all the way, they're all powered separately uh, from four separate sources and then we also have a control circuit that controls a control circuit that controls these four motors that simulates two compressors and two fans. Uh, two pressure switches, as I said, to, to simulate the safety and a couple of switches here to simulate the single pole, single pole single throw switches to simulate the control. So that's our job. I don't know if you can uh, throw a, a shot at them here. So, and I want to do it one more time. We turn our control circuit on. The system is up and running. And to interlock the two systems together, guys, we use the uh, one, two, three, four, five wires over here to simulate the system. And we do have red light, yellow, and green that simulate the yellow. The yellow light, based on what we designed here, simulate the condenser fan is on. The green light simulates the compressor number two is on. And the red light simulates that the supply fan on the other side is on. And we do have a thermostat here that controls the condenser fan. And the, what's supposed to be a solenoid valves over here. So control them separately from a uh, thermostat. And that's our job for tonight. Thank you, Tim.